that, I would like to um, start this meeting with a little, a couple thoughts on um, how to bring uh, spirituality and your meditative experiences together with everyday life. Uh, because my core, my core theme, if you want, so is spiritual psychotherapy. So to bring spirituality and psychology, psychology together. And I was speaking this morning about uh, the meditators in the caves, right? And they, they have an advantage to us that they are not so easily in the trigger field. No, they are in the cave and they're meditating and they just have their peace. But we are living in the marketplace. So in a way, we can, can meditate as much as we want. We can go to a Vipassana retreat for 10 days, 20 days, 40 days. But we can be sure as we walk out of the meditation that we, as we bump into other beings, they can even be a tree or a car or, you know, whatever. Uh, we can be sure that we will be triggered again. So now, of course, meditation can help us to not react. You know, like I have this friend who is riding his bike and each time a car gets a bit too close, he goes like, fuck you, you know. <laughs> I mean, you're free to do that too. But of course, that will create more, more suffering in a way. More reactivity. So of course, meditation can help in staying more aware, but also how do I meet those triggers in another way? And the thing that I feel is important to bring together, especially in this spiritual world also, is, is to bring this spiritual aspect together with the shadow aspect or the psychological aspect. So what that means is that the spirituality can help us to stay aware, but then when the trigger hits us, what can we do? Now, to shortly say, and maybe we can go a bit deeper into that, if you bring that up for yourself, we can make space for the trigger to happen. Yeah, we can make space to feel the psychological work is more like how to bring us from the mind more into a feeling state allowing the feelings to happen. So let's say uh, somebody in the street says, whatever, I'm an asshole or so. I For sure this will trigger me somehow. So I can either just snap back or I can just receive that, the trigger and just feel and make room to feel it. Yeah. And then when I feel it, I can bring light to it. I can bring awareness to it and see what wound does it touch in me? What wound does it touch in me? Okay, I can feel, okay, I feel rejected. I feel mistreated. I feel not understood. And then maybe this leads me deeper to an old wound I've experienced in my childhood or in my, in my youth. And then once I meet this trigger deeply, the root of this trigger, then with understanding and empathy, I can come up and kind of free this trigger and I can be here and I just, I, I'm somehow free of my reactivity. Then this guy who calls me asshole, well, it doesn't happen to me that often, but you know, it can happen. So I, then I can stay there totally free and maybe just give a smile. Just give a smile because I understand I'm free of my wound, of my reactivity, and I can bring empathy to this guy who might be still caught in his reactivity. And in that way, I can also bring understanding. Yeah. And this spirituality and meditation and this practice we're, you know, we're doing together helps us to do this process faster and faster. Yeah. That you can have a trigger. You can feel the feelings, open to the feelings. You can feel what wound is triggered, come up more free and just be here. And maybe something needs to be said, maybe not. You know, and this is somehow what I call the merge of the spiritual and the psychological when they can really be fruitful for each other. 
and then you can walk through life and somehow uh, you know not even feel bad about the triggers but somehow say well great i'm getting triggered you know great i'm gonna celebrate this trigger in a way that it comes for me to be more free it comes for me to see where am i not free yet where do i need to look at and what we see a lot in the spiritual world and i've i've been a, a long time in this world also is that a lot of people try to bypass that you know they try to meditate and be in the bliss state it's nothing wrong with the bliss state i also like it but somehow like understanding that the bliss state is great but the trigger is just as great the trigger allows me to see ah there is a little hidden dark corner where i'm still not free so thank you uh, my uh, trigger mate you know that you give me that because that allows me to look at it and to free it and in that way nobody you know there is no adversary anymore that's 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 real spiritual applied life in everyday life is like seeing that the one who is triggering me triggering me is not a bad guy or a bad woman is in fact a present is a gift they are giving us the opportunity to look at it so in a way a spiritual life really applied to everyday life in my view is to invite yourself not to be against anything that happens not to be against it not to go into resistance in fact i think it has been uh, krishna murti a dear writer and philosopher and spiritual being that he wrote like he wrote this i think for him spiritual life is to not be against anything that happens but to welcome it even if it feels like painful and not you don't want to hear that but if you can invite yourself from a bigger understanding that yeah somehow it seems this trigger is needed otherwise it wouldn't happen so to take on this trigger and this opportunity to clear the field to kind of empty yourself out because once you are empty once you are just here you will not be triggered anymore you know and in that way maybe this process of meeting the triggers will go on forever and maybe at some point you will just stay here empty and you just emanate empathy i mean there is beings like that you know for example teach natan dalai lama these are highly developed beings that just emanate love and empathy but as long as we are on this human path i feel this is really a gift to look at it like that that we can really stretch to the spiritual realms but also when it's needed we can also meet these shadow sides and invite them into the light yeah like they say bring darkness to light but if we want to bring darkness to light we have to be ready to meet it when it comes not bypassing 